Another topic that is interesting to explore is the topic of guilt and regrets. I'm sure many people, many of us, I know I have, uh, I've collected quite a few guilt and regrets as I've moved through life. I've said things which I wish I hadn't have done, I've, I've done actions which I, I later regretted immensely, um, hurt people. Um, many situations have happened where uh, it created something inside of me where I really wasn't happy with myself, I wasn't happy with the outcome of what had happened. And uh, I carried quite a burden um, from those situations, feeling very guilty uh, and wishing I had done something differently. Uh, these are also other things, or I wouldn't say things, but uh, events, situations, aspects, uh, memories and, and impressions that we can carry, which really leave uh, a heavy residue inside. You know, they're the things which we come back to time and time again. The mind likes to come back to more negative of, of situations than it does of positive um, on balance. So as we moving through life uh, and we've acquired these situations or these guilts and regrets, um, it can really weigh us down. You know, we carry this hangover of events that have happened before and it's all associated with the past, which means that we have less space to enjoy the now, the present. And that's all we have actually at any point in time is the now. So when we have a big load of sack of, of guilt and regrets or a big trash can of all these things which we've done before, uh, it can really colour our experience of the day and today. And really we should look for an opportunity where we can live each day fresh, light, um, and one where we can really get good satisfaction from, from the moment. So having guilt and regrets is a, is a sure way to sort of bog us down. Now, how do you, you shed them? How do you look at the guilt? How do you look at the regret? How do you let go of something which at that time was a really intense situation and may still be now when, when kept as a, as a memory? Well, usually the, the main thing or the, the glue which helps that stick with inside us is the emotion associated with it and the memory of those emotions of maybe even seeing them on another person or another group of people um, but also what we felt as well, maybe the sadness, the, the anger, the, the resentment, the, uh, the loathing. All of these are quite heavy emotions and so they stick to us very easily. So why do we need to carry them is a, a question which I think is useful to think of first. And the short answer is we don't. Um, we only had our available awareness at any point in time when an event happened. So say we did something that we weren't so happy with and we wish we'd done better, we couldn't have. There's no way because until that event or situation happened, we never had the awareness we have now to look back at it and say, oh, I would have done something differently. It's really a, a bit of a, a false idea that we could have done better at any given time. And that awareness usually is enough to help us unstick from those situations and just accept ourselves and, and forgive ourselves that, you know, at that time, maybe um, I couldn't actually cope in any other way. In that time, I didn't have any other available understanding um, to deal with that situation in a way. Or maybe I wasn't mature enough uh, to handle that situation. And so I acted in a certain way that caused whatever it, the event is, which were um, have something, a guilt or regret about. So if we can leave these behind, uh, it can leave us much more free to, to move forward. And as I mentioned in the previous video, when we're walking a, a spiritual path where we're trying to raise our awareness and we're trying to elevate our awareness and connect to something higher, these are things which can really bind us and pull us down. So until we've actually shed them, until we've accepted them, accepted ourselves, forgiven ourselves, uh, and through awareness realized that, okay, this event happened, it's, it's now gone. From now on, I'll, I won't be doing that. I'll be doing something else and, and putting it aside. We won't really make too much progress. I mean, we can meditate, we can attend temples, we can do any type of thing. But if these are still in our system, in, in a serious way, it, it can really stop us um, moving forward. Because one of the most fundamentals to the spiritual path is uh, beginning with acceptance. So we have to accept ourselves, all our mistakes, all our failings, all our strengths, all the weaknesses, the good points, the bad points so that we can um, begin to evolve higher in awareness. So my name's Chris. Uh, this is coming from the Mohanji Center of Benevolence. 
Um, and this awareness is uh, something that Mohanji himself has given to many people across the world uh, and is empowering people to live you know, a practical spiritual life um, through these simple messages and this simple raising and awareness. I hope you enjoyed and do come back for more videos.